Hello my friends, it's me Fenowin and welcome back to Modded Banished. We're playing with Colonial Charter Mod 1.71 and last I left off we're building a sawmill so we can start producing some uh, saw there. Lumber! Lumber! Building lumber. I want lumber so I can build a town hall. Um, because I want to see what my production is like. It seems like we're still doing okay on food. Our food is at 12,000 and it was at 10. We are building, I'm going to go ahead and get another house going as soon as this is done. But we are going in a positive direction with our population. We have three in school, seven born, and 30 adults. But we do need to expand. I need more, I need more houses. Let's put another artisan house here. We're working on our center courtyard area of decoration that will be added later. Let's go ahead and throw that in. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to do, can I do two here? I'm going to look at my spacing. Can I only do one? Let's see. So we got, yeah, that's it. Hmm. How do I want to do that? I may just leave that open there. Put some trees. Just decorate, make it look like a pretty little spot. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I can always put three here and then, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. That's not going to be perfect on the other side either because of the school, but that's okay. All right. Let's put just one guy to work here. I'm going to limit... No, I can't limit his materials, can I? What does he need? I can use fire... I want to produce logs. Yeah, logs. What's the problem? I have no logs? <gasps> oh no, that's not good. We need logs. Let's get this all cleared out down here. I guess I could go ahead and clear this out, but I don't want to. I like my trees. And now and then what I'll do is I'll clear out the forester area and then just have my forester replant. I could do that because he'll replant. There we go. We're clear cutting. What's the problem? We have no materials for nothing. We got no leather. We're out of firewood. We need a whole bunch of wood. I don't know how you keep up with the wood production in this experience. You know, looking at this mod and the amount of wood I'm going to do, I, I don't know how I'm going to keep up with this wood production. Okay, so I've got that set. Okay, so I've got them clearing forests in a lot of different directions, as well as working on our new artisan home. So that one's going to finish. And I need bricks. That's what it was. I need brick working. And I got plenty of workers to put on this duty. Let's see. So bricks... I need log and clay to make, so I have to wait until he produces some lumber. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm going to have to just give in and tear down all these trees here because they're close. I just hate doing it. I like keeping them for decoration. I can put a lumber guy down, like right in the middle of this courtyard to fill in all the trees and then pull him up and build my courtyard. I think I'll do that. So I'll go ahead and tear all this down. And then later when I'm ready to fill this all back in with some trees, I'll throw down a lumber guy there. And that means also I can tear this stuff that's close over here down. And get all this crap here. The forest trying to move back in. Look at this. Deer's just hanging out down by our food. Is this full? Oh my gosh, it's full. I don't want to upgrade it. So we need to build another one. Let's see. I don't know why you'd want to build an old barn. I mean, I guess for pretty, but it seems like a waste. Um, let's see here. I could put a grain silo. Let's see, we got a meat locker. Grain silo. For our wheat. And that would help with some space. Where am I going to put it? I could put it over... Our food's still doing good. I can put it right here as part of our little corner. I'm going to leave enough room for a road behind it in case I decide to do that. There we go. That'll help with that storage situation. And they've finished our house and we've already had some youngins move in to start making babies. And then once they're done with that grain solo or silo, I will start another artisan house. Get that wood coming in. We need lots of wood. I am going to need another stockpile probably just for my wood because look at all that. I've got so much iron. I don't need iron anymore. Is that what I'm making here? I'm making iron. Yeah. I could go ahead and disable the work on this. That will cut down on some fuel usage. 
And I got plenty of furnace fuel, so I'm also going to stop this as well. So that'll cut down on our logs being used. And let me get some lumber produced. It also puts those two guys to work. And our chopping, chopping, chopping. We got plenty. How's our firewood? 257 firewood. Is that that here? Yeah, firewood. Fuel. Well, that seems weird because it should count our furnace fuel as fuel too. Stop. I want to click on the other one. There we go. 254, but it's not. It's only counting firewood as fuel. Interesting. No? Holy cow! I didn't even notice. I have so much furnace fuel. <laughs> See, this is why I need a town hall right now. I don't know where I'm going to build it. Maybe up here I'll build a pretty town hall center and thing instead of a forester. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Because down here is going to be all of our crops. Big crop area here. Reserve of logs. Of... Yeah, I figured logs would be low, considering how much furnace we just did. We're still doing okay on tools. We can't make any more clothing right now because we're out of leather, but that's fine. Our hunter will get us more. I could put another hunter down here because... I think, from what I remember, these are just a visual thing and they do not represent actual deer and the deer population in that area. So I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. But I have seen them catch the deer. So it be out there. I've seen the bodies laying around. Maybe I haven't seen them catch the deer, but I've seen the bodies laying around. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Um, I believe that is the case. Okay, where are we at? I wish I could speed it up even faster. <laughs> They're almost done with that. I do have lumber now. So how much lumber do I have? Let's see. I have 158. Can I build my town hall now? I need bricks first, I think. Let's look. I think I need bricks first to build my colonial. Yes. Oh. Oh, I need two types. Shoot. I need bricks and I don't even know what that is. What is that? Let's find out. So let's go into our production. It's going to be in here. So these are our bricks. I'm betting the brickworks makes both of those types of bricks I guess or maybe it's a building supply I don't know I don't know what that was oh this is gonna be hard um, let's go ahead and get a brickwork down because we have enough wood for it and we have enough of the other stuff so let's put and we can also get some glass works down too where should I put you I can put you right there we got this big opening here between where the houses are going to be. I am going to build one house just so I know where the edge is going to be of my... Yeah. Oh, I got plenty of room. Okay, I don't need to build that house right now. Let's see who's moved in here. Well, I hate to... I, don't, I, need, the, I need my bricks. So let's focus on our brick layer here. Or brick maker. I'm going to put his back up against this guy. You could put a tunnel through them, though. That's the cool thing about it. I could go ahead and do it this way. And then have the road come out the back of it. I'll do that. I actually love that about the colonial buildings. That they're designed so that you can actually build roads under or through the buildings. And I love that. It's kind of cool. It's a nice touch. So we're going to have a road go right there. Because then I could put another building here, even if it doesn't have a road go through it. And, oh... Oh, I kind of... Mm. Well, I'd have to go over in that way. Yeah, that's what I do. So we'll get that built. And then when that's built, I'll start yet another home. Because, again, I want to keep my population growing steadily. I do still need... I'm gathering all the wood. I'm gathering all the stone. Let's see, what are we at on wood? I've got 250, so that's good. I've got 86 stone. That's good. I've got plenty of lumber, so I could go ahead and disable that as well. Um, sand and clay. I am going to keep those guys. Uh, they. The problem is you really got to pay more attention to your supplies. Because when you max out on, for instance, uh, lumber, because it counts as a material, it will max out your material too quick when you're still lacking in other areas. So I have to watch how much I have of things. So I've got a lot of sand and clay. Sand. Nope. So I've got sand and clay there and sand and clay there. Wait, come back here. Um, so I've got over 300 of both. I really, I'm going to go ahead and stop this for now. That gives me some more workers to help get trees cut down and stone picked up. And I can go ahead and get that building going faster. 
Yeah, that's going to help with our gathering a little bit. And it's also going to help keep our, uh, our materials from maxing out too quick. Since I'm also not using any furnace fuel right now, I won't need to reactivate that. Where does the furnace fuel is getting used here? Wait, sorry, there. Um, and this building is disabled too, so I'm not going to need to re-enable that smelting, or the, sorry. Yeah, I won't need to re-enable this for a while. Because I've also got plenty of iron stored up on iron. So yeah, I, and the trick is, is remembering I have those off since I pause sometimes between recordings. There'll be a few weeks where I won't record, so I just gotta remember I have those off. Uh, that oh, or I need to remember to watch those supplies. The nice thing is it keeps it labeled for whether it's on or off. And I need another stockpile. That one's getting full. Let's put a stockpile down here because we're gonna have materials coming this way. So I'm going to put another generic stockpile down that way for all this wooden stuff that they're grabbing. So let's do... Where shall I put it? First, let me check something. I need to see if I am going to need precious mine. Where's my other mine? Iron gather. What? What, what does he do? Collects iron from around the land. Oh. Uh, stone collector, salt works. Where's the regular mine? Oh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> no. Turn it around. There we go. I want to see if I can. Yeah, I can throw one of these down here. So I'm not going to be keen on building any stockpile right there. Instead, I'm going to put it... If I can click in the right place... I'm going to put it over here next to the tunnel. Well, that's kind of far away. Let's put it down here next. No. Um, let me put it right here. No. I don't want it there. Ah. I don't think I can put the farm this way. Let's check. I like to plan out ahead. I know it kind of slows me down a little bit, but I like to plan out ahead. So 15 by 8. I can put another farm here with some more wheat. And I think I will go ahead and do that. Yeah. And then that gives me the space to put this right there. Look at that. I can go pretty big with that. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, that kind of leaves a little issue with the edge of that tunnel. <laughs> oh, well. Shoot. I don't think I can undo that. All right. Well, shoot. That's a bummer. It has a visual problem there. Okay, so now we're getting to work on some bricks. Um, that is going to use clay and furnace fuel. So my furnace fuel will start going down and will my clay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn back on clay. I'm going to leave furnace fuel off though. Okay, so we've got a new stockpile started. We've got this about to go. Let's get another house going. I'm going to go ahead and start this little row here get him going up there and what is this making again that's lumber and we've got 268 all right so now that we got bricks started I am gonna go ahead and start my town hall so I want to build a colonial oh I can't build a colonial one I have to do a normal one they're both the same one's just different uh, looking I just don't know what kind of shape that second one is I think it I don't know I'll have to look that up so I'll look that up before the next episode for now I'm gonna build a regular town hall and we can always clear it out and in fact we can we can build it right here I'm just gonna build it right here and make it you know the center of this area and then later I will tear it down and move it so let's do that and I'll put the, the town hall somewhere else and repurpose this into a clearing. So that's going to make getting the material there quicker, but let's see how we're doing on, there we go. We have plenty of lumber. So, okay. So we've got that started. Now I can look at my production and not have to watch that manually. And let's get some more wheat going since we've got a silo here and you're not putting it, are you not putting it in the silo? What's the problem? Shouldn't that be going in the silo? Maybe I just, did I just build it last summer? I don't know. Anyway, we'll find out in a minute. When they harvest this, if they don't put it in there, I'm going to be a little confused. Because I thought that was the point. 
All right, so we got some more forest cleared away. We've built down to there. This is going to be a big farm area. They're almost done with this, and we'll get another house going. I do also want to... I need more stone. Oh my gosh. Hmm, maybe I should build some of those stone gathers. Stupid lag. Maybe I should build some of those stone gathers. Let's take a look here. Where are the stone gathers? I'm looking in the wrong place. Sitting gathering. Yes. There we go. So I could put a stone gatherer down. Oh, look at the radius on that guy. I didn't even notice that before. Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. I can put him, like, I mean, it's kind of, I hate to put it right there. It's kind of far from everything, but it's not too far. Yeah, that's a lot of stone he can gather. And then I just tear it down when he's done. That is pretty cool. That was not in the previous mod. So that is pretty cool. We got a whole bunch of stone down here too. So I think what I'll do is I'll put him right here for now. Because there's a lot, of, or actually right there. Because there's a lot of stone over here too. That'll start helping me resupply stone. That's pretty cool. And I don't have to build a quarry. I eventually I do want to build a small one. Which I may put, I don't know, over here. We'll figure it out. Alright, so we've now got our building. Let's take a look. Uh, we've got our production. Our We are producing as much food as we are using. That means we have just probably done the right thing creating this when we did. Okay, good. They're putting it in there. That means that this can go... Hmm. I still need another storage. Because these are beetroot. So we, got a, we need a root cellar for that. Let's put a house down first. Because, yep, need our population growing. And I swear I'm going to look in the right place eventually. Let's throw it down. Right here next to this building. Alright, let's take a look at our inventory. So, yes, we have a ton of fish. We have a ton of uh, furnace fuel. We have no ginger, which is interesting. Wouldn't we have ginger from all the herbing, herb, herb gathering going Oh, do we have to grow ginger? Oh, okay, maybe. Uh, lumber, no 193. Let's take a look here. So we're only, we're down to 193 on lumber. Okay. We need more lumber. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back to work. He's going to use just logs. We've got plenty of logs at this point. Three, well, not plenty, but we got 324. We're still doing good on fuel. I am going to increase our fuel limit because our population is growing. I do need to get some more stone because I need to get that graveyard for them. And I'd like to build a church as well soon. Uh, health is doing really good. Happiness is doing pretty good. So not too bad there. And now he's running. Oh, I don't have anybody working there. I only have one guy. Let's get two. I do not want a stone limit of 200. Screw that noise. All right. So, yep, yeah, we're working on that. Um, I am going to go ahead and send some guys up here to get this stone. And then we're going to call this an episode. Uh, call it here basically this guy's collecting all the stone down here so I don't need to you do clearing there but we can clear all this out all the way up here we got a whole bunch of stone and I thought I saw some over here too no not really that's iron okay all right so that's where we're gonna call this episode I hope you guys have enjoyed please do like comment and subscribe become a finion today and I will see you guys next time bye everybody